Okay, we're gonna do another connector now. This is an OBD2 connector. Uh, DLC, some people call it. Let's see, or well, the factory calls it. Okay, this right here is a good example of one that has a like a redundant catch on the back, keep them from going back and out. You'll also notice it doesn't have any weather stripping on it. It's not a weather packed connector. Uh, we're going to pull out. Let's pick one that's not all bound up. Here we go. We're going to pull out the power wire, pin 16, which powers the DL, uh, which powers your scan tool. First step is you, you want to pull this blue part off right here. Now you'll see the little catches right here and right here. They'll just kind of snap in, have little tits up, or they catch on right there. I like to put, we're not using our special tools, we're using our picks, and a couple other things I'm going to show you that help out if you're doing automotive electrical. This one's got a little bent tip on it. Okay, I'm just going to insert it in the back side of that, and I'm going to kind of push it down. Flat tip screwdriver. Pull it out. Same thing on this side. It's not really going to go down. It's not a. It's not really supposed to go down. You're just kind of prying up to push it down a little bit. It's going to pop right out. Let's see, it's just little tits. Got that one a little bit bent. It's okay. All right, now, like any connector, you're going to push forward first. Now, if you look close on this. You can look through it, get a backsplash here. If you look through it, you see a little tit sticking up on the top row, they're sticking up on the bottom, and on the bottom row, they're sticking down from the top. Those are going to be your catches. Those are what you're pushing away, and you can't tell on this video, but you can actually see them. They're just right there. Now, we're going to push in first to make sure it's not bound up. And then we're going to go right underneath here and we're going to just lift I don't know why I'm using that we'll use a pick we're just going to lift the tab lift the tab a little bit you got to be real careful not to break these tabs they are real sensitive and then you're going to find some way to lift the tab and hold it up while you're pulling it out. Push it back in. Lift the tab up. Okay. And then just slide right out. And that's it. This is a little bit different than the other ones we were working with. You'll see on the side that catches, there's just a hole. There's no little catch that pops up there. That's because this inside this has got a big enough catch that it drops down in that space. All right, and not forgetting where we put it, we're gonna put it back. It's pin 16 right down here. Don't forget where it goes. And oh, I just did that on a video, didn't I? Put it the right way. A little snap. It's nice and tight. Just be extremely careful with these little tabs. Uh, a couple of the things we used. Uh, this right here, you can buy these. I noticed at AutoZone. No Riley's now. When I bought these things, oh man, they were expensive off of a Matco tool truck. But basically, all it is, and you can make these at home. That's what I do now. If I can get the piece off. Okay, I can't. Uh, it's a needle and an alligator clip. That's it. Great for diagnosis. Just don't rape the pins. Sticking that into them. You will spread the pins too much and cause a bad connection. One of the best tools in your box, if you don't have flex probes, which are really expensive, I will fall back on these when I can't find the right flex probe. This is a T-pin. Uh, they're used in uh, arts and crafts and sewing. I picked these up at the Walmart. Uh, Walmart aisle for arts and crafts and sewing. They've got this size which is tiny and they've got large T-pins. Uh, 
I've got some of those too, just not here. Uh, okay, and then standard screwdriver and your picks. It's an OBD2 connector. Uh, I've got some more laying around. We'll do some more. Hope that helps someone.